mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. What is this? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. You are here riding with John G on the Ride Home Podcast, the Ride Home Review. So thanks for joining us. Uh, This time it's a little bit different. If you guys have heard any of my... I mean, first off, let's start by saying welcome to the channel, guys. I'll say that again. Uh, The Ride Home Review, Ride Home Podcast. What exactly is this? So essentially, after seeing a movie or a film with my drive home, I kind of just chatted up with you guys and talk about the movie that I just recently saw. Usually I do use a different microphone. Uh, That microphone's been picking up a a little bit of noise, so we're actually gonna, we're trying out a new microphone today, so we're gonna see how the quality might differ from my other ones. But you know, we're just testing stuff out, we're getting stuff done and set. So I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out for a little bit while I talk about this film. And the film today, you guys know by looking at the title, it is Hustlers. Hustlers, the big movie with the main actresses. Uh, I believe her name is Constance Wu. She was in Crazy Rich Asians. She was the main role in that. And she was also on uh, uh, ABC's hit show, Fresh Off the Boat. So she's been pretty big right now in the game. Amazing actress. She does a phenomenal job. And of course, the girl who might actually end up winning a Grammy for all I mean, she might or, or win some kind of award. Miss J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez playing her role. She just did a fantastic job. But overall thoughts of the film. What kind of film is this, John? This film is a, it's a fun, entertaining film with some good comedies on the side and stuff like that, but based on a true story, so it has a lot of good elements. Is it an enjoyable film? John, is it a film you can go in theaters and watch? I would say yes. Uh, Spend your couple dollars. Uh, maybe, Maybe it's a movie you go see on discount Tuesday, save a couple dollars, Try to check it out in the theaters though, because it definitely was a it was it was a fun movie. Now, what was this movie about? This movie was essentially these girls who are in the strip club game, one of the biggest strip clubs in New York. They are pretty much, you know, going through Mincy, getting getting this money, trying to do what they can, you know, to 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 make their money, and they start to realize that hey. You know, we can start making money a different way. We can start hustling a different way um, as the name Hustlers presents itself. Uh, Constance Wu did a fantastic job. She was one of the lead roles. Jennifer Lopez did an amazing job as well. Uh, Great overall. I mean, just killed it on a lot of facets. Like there is a part essentially where she was in the strip club, Constance Wu. She's the new Asian girl. And she's essentially learning the rope, seeing what she can do to become, uh, you know, a better stripper so she can start getting more money. Because she is, uh, like I said, she's a new girl. She's really just trying to help her her grandma out, help pay her grandma's bills, um, you know, help her buy. So like at the beginning of the movie, she notices that her grandma's favorite necklace is gone and that she had to give it away, you know, to uh, to pay for their family, uh, you know, their, their house to keep their living. So just great moments like that, that really, uh, showed her that, Hey, you know, I just, I just want my grandma to, you know, have a nice living. You know what I mean? So it had some good touching moments like that. She, she starts working at this strip club to start earning some money. Then she ends up running into JLo one random day. JLo kills it. JLo had to take some kind of stripping classes or something because she was fucking killing that pole. She had like all the little tricks. She had all different types. So it was just amazing. I mean, she probably had a stunt double on a few scenes, but for the most part, she was fucking wrecking that shit. And they had her face in it too a lot of times. So it was really showing that. I'm very curious to see how much work that she ended up actually doing on the, you know, learning how to do pole work and stuff like that. Because it was pretty, that was a pretty sweet moment. J-Lo definitely surprised me. Uh, so yeah, once she and her homeboy, her home girl, I'm sorry, they get together. They start making money. She starts in- teaching her because she's like the master. 
of the stripping. And she starts teaching Miss Constance Wu how to start doing her little dance and, and for her to start making more money. And she starts breaking it down, um, which was which was a great part, too. So they stay friends for a while. They break up for a while. Um, not for any main reason. They just, um, the recession happens and people start losing money. So people aren't really going into the clubs anymore. Because it, it seemed like it, it was a popular club where a lot of Wall Street guys just went to. And were throwing out a lot of money. So it, it, was one of, it was one of those things. But once the recession happened, the club started getting a little bit slower. People stopped showing up. So... J-Lo, Constance Wu, they had to start earning the money um, in different kinds of ways. So they kind of separate for a little bit. They finally get back together in the game. Uh, Constance Wu, she's she's kind of depressed because she's trying to find a life outside of stripping. And, you know, she can't. So she actually goes back into stripping. And then her old strip club's completely changed and stuff like that. So... She ends up running into J Lo again, and J Lo, she's actually out here. She's actually out here hustling a different way. She's out here finding guys that they can pretty that they drug pretty much. They slip them with Mickey, and they take them to the strip club, and they run their credit cards up to sky high. So she started killing those guys, and it was. I'm not gonna really talk too much about the ending or anything like that. Um, but it's it has its trials and tribulations, of course. You know, they start their own hustling business where they're ripping off these Wall Street guys, taking off their credit cards, drugging them. Uh, you know, they're on top of the world. They're making more money than they can imagine. They got the nice penthouse. They got, and then of course, there's always something that has to go wrong, right? It's always, you know, once, you know, the the best parts can't always last forever, as they always say. So, um, and then, but I want you guys to kind of. You know, see the movie yourself so you can kind of experience the the trials and tribulations that happen and everything that transpired. So uh, overall, though, um, I thought it was a solid, good movie. I, w- I wouldn't say it was a spectacular movie um, or I wouldn't say it was a bad movie either. The, the first hour or so, the film was magnificent. Um, it started to slow off just a tad towards the end. But I mean... The first hour, first hour and 30 minutes, it, like they did a, almost a masterful job. I couldn't see them doing it any better, actually. Um, just from the cinematography work to the story elements to the moving around in time. We don't just sit at one period of time. We're moving through years. And this was based on a true story. So they do interesting things like they blank out certain people's names or they have certain tape recording messages bunch of different interesting stuff like that which i really found interesting overall now would i put this in my top five films no it's not going to break my top five films of the year unfortunately uh but it's still an it's still an enjoyable film i mean you gotta you gotta check it out just for the story wise it was it was a fun like hustle gritty gritty movie and that was really awesome so but, uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, thanks again for joining the podcast, joining the little quick review um, at the Ride Home Podcast. Just to let you guys know, I make videos every single day on certain film stuff, TV stuff. So please like the video, you know, maybe share the video to a friend that, that's going to see the movie or that has seen the movie. And post in the comments below what you thought of the film. Um, let's let's talk it up, or if there's any questions on the film, let's talk about it. Um, I, you know, I, I love making content. And, you know, I'm doing I do all this stuff for free, just for you know you guys' entertainment. So um, I would love for you guys to put in your input. I'd love to talk to you guys and engage with you guys uh, because you know this is this is what I enjoy doing. So and I hope you guys enjoy listening to me. So, but yeah, that was pretty much the main premise of the story. I mean, but. Oh, yeah, they had some guest appearances in there, too, which was kind of cool. They had, let's talk about Cardi B. Cardi B was only in the first, I would say, quarter of the movie. And she was one of these strippers. I don't remember her name. I think it was like Brooklyn or something like that. Or she was from Brooklyn. But she was a hood chick. How did she do acting-wise? She did. 
I guess, okay for somebody who's not an actress or an actor. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, she did okay. She did okay. She still had some bad parts where she was acting. Her acting was pretty tough, but I mean, she she was able to get the message across. You know, she didn't really take the element that you know she she. Uh, it was like too unbearable to watch. So she did she did okay. Um, Lizzo was also in it as well. Lizzo was in the about the first half of the movie. She also did an okay job. You know, another rapper that is that is acting. You know, you see their you see some of their bad spots. They're trying to. I would say both of them they were trying too hard at certain times for certain scenes, like trying to push the message with facial expressions and stuff like that, like trying too much, just not being as smooth um, as like a, a seasoned actor would be. But uh, still got the message across as well. Still, still got the got the job across, so which was good. Um, J Lo though, I mean, wow, J Lo killed it, masterful by her. She absolutely killed the game. Phenomenal. I have no argument about anything that J Lo did in that movie. She did a fantastic job. Um, who else? Uh, Usher showed up in the movie. <laughs> Usher showed up for a little bit as Usher, which was pretty funny. So he pulled in and, you know, the girl started throwing money around and, and or I'm sorry, he started throwing money around and all the girls and all the girls ran outside because a, a lot of them, I would say like 80% of them were in the back in like the locker room, dressing room. And one of the girls, I think it was actually Lizzo. She's like, y'all will not believe this shit. Usher is outside. And they're like, oh my God. So they all go running out there and, you know. Usher just makes it making it rain in the strip club, so he started going ham. Um, so yeah, Usher did a good part too. He actually did a pretty good part. He did a good job acting, even though I mean it's not too hard, I guess, to to fucking act like you you walk in a strip club as yourself, throwing a bunch of money around. So he didn't have a, a tough time there, I guess. But overall, it was good. So, uh, but yeah, that's really it, guys. This one's a quick little uh, ride home review, ride home podcast. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, go check the movie out. My overall thoughts, it was a solid, good, fun entertainment movie. Maybe take the girl to, um, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. So, uh, post in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Let me know if you're going to go check out the movie. If you have any questions as well, post down below. And hey, new videos every single day. Check the channel back, all right? We're making moves out here. We're making changes. I hope you guys can join us along for the ride. And with that being said, be easy.